welcome to today's tutorial class. My name is Oluwa Tumbi Blessing Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, today we'll be considering the problem on the screen. We are given the elevation and part of a truncated pyramid. We are given the complete elevation, but we are only given part of the plan. So, our very first problem here is to what? A. Complete the plan view. And for us to develop the plan view, we need to first of all develop that particular pentagon of side 35 mm. So, to do that, my very first procedure right here is to pick my T square in this order. All right. I'm going to draw this horizontal line faintly. Okay, I'm going to draw that faintly. Then uh, pick this right here. So I'm going to advise us, let's produce the pentagon. That's the very first thing. So I'm going to do that offline. So if you don't know how to produce the pentagon, kindly follow the link in the description below to watch the video on how to produce a pentagon. Thank you. Okay, so having my pentagon now, the very next thing is I'm going to draw a line tangential to the uh, upper part of my pentagon right here, a straight line faintly. Then I'm going to pick a mark of 10. Okay, a mark of 10 separating there, which is this. I'm going to draw a thin horizontal line right there also. Okay, then after that, I'm going to do my numbering. Mark 0, 1, 2, 3, four and this will be what zero over what over five okay so after doing that i'm going to project each of this mark to the portion right there faintly okay mark two already projected i'm going to project mark one also faintly to that base then mark zero and five faintly to that area so after doing that we are told that the height of our pentagon is what is 37.5 which is what i have on my compass right here so i'm marking that area up there so the next procedure is i'm going to pick this align it to that height of 37.5 draw it faintly this junction to the apex faintly all right likewise this junction to the apex faintly then this junction to the apex faintly all right so after drawing that after drawing that we are told that uh from the midpoint right here towards the left hand side on the horizontal axis we have a mark of what a mark of 44 so i'm going to do that right now so right here mark of 44 which is this on that mark of 44 i am drawing a line at angle 60 degrees from the mark of 44 a line at angle 60 degrees to the vertical then that will be what 30 degrees to the was to the horizontal axis okay so from here with my 30 degree set square i what i draw this line i'm going to make it bold yeah i'm making it bold once and for all okay i make it bold so now that is my what that is my cutting plane then i i can what i can actually thicken this area out i can thicken this I'm going to thicken this then i'm going to thicken what this then at this bottom part also i'm going to what thicken this that is it okay so this area is my mark zero and five this area is my mark one this center line here is my mark what mark four okay here is mark two and here is mark what mark three okay as it is now to get the complete uh plan i'm going to project mark zero and five downward from where it touches the cutting plane here okay this line is representing zero and five so from this area i'm going to watch project this downward faintly which is going to be this so then it's touching my this uh, the lateral line for what for zero and five to the midpoint here so this line coming here touches it right here so i asterisk it right there okay so this next one is for what for mark two so projecting mark two downward faintly 
also yeah it is touching my mark too right here okay as you can see then this last one is for what mark three i'm going to project that also so this is touching my mark three what right here so for mark four how do we get that of mark four i'm going to actually try and get my end view okay so from this mark here i'm drawing a line at 45 degrees which is this like this okay after drawing that all right so i'm projecting mark four like this faintly upwards right there okay yeah mark one which is this also faintly upwards and uh midpoint which is this i'm projecting that also yeah so faintly upwards right there okay so from my elevation right here i'm projecting the height here horizontally faintly okay this area faintly okay this next one faintly okay and for mark 4 which is this center okay i'm projecting that also faintly i think i already have uh my mark 4 right there okay so uh this is the midpoint of our so this midpoint okay down here okay the midpoint down there that area is gotten okay and to this area like this is gotten also and not forgetting this is my mark zero five and three which is this on this single plane okay zero five and three on that single plane i pull it upwards to the base right there and from that base to this what apex here all right so this one is my what one and two this is my what zero five and what three why this is my what this is my four so this for mark four and four coming here intersect at this junction okay so from this junction at the top here i'm going to put it what pull it downwards wherever it touches my what my line of 45 degree which is here then from this junction i'm going to what project it horizontally like this so it is touching my line four right here it is touching it right there so if that is the case i'm going to pick my ruler okay then what uh oh before that i haven't gotten my point one so from this junction yeah this junction i'm going to pull this area downward like this and this gives my what my point one which is what right here so i'm going to join these areas all together like this like this all right so i'm joining this also i am joining this also and i'm joining this also okay then i can now what i can take in this area right now i can take in this i can take in this i can take in this then i can also what take in this all right so i can take in all of those areas okay so since that area my plan is sectioned i'm going to pick my 45 degree uh set square then what I'm going to show it as a sectioned plane like this all right so i have my complete plan as it is so the b part says we are to produce was the surface development of the sloping sides so to do that all i'm going to do is i'm going to pick my compass okay picking my compass from the apex right here okay to this bottom here i'm going to what draw this okay drawing that okay next thing is uh 
this area is for my court mark three but before that i'm going to pick one of the side of my uh pentagon so one of the side which is uh this so then starting from uh let's take this area as a starting point okay uh, let me use this as my starting point like this so this is my mark quote mark zero so with the length of one of the side of our pentagon coming here one okay two three four and what five so i'm going to do the number one two three four five then I'm going to draw each of those points to the what to the apex of my what of my pentagon faintly first of all. I'm drawing them faintly. Okay. Faintly. 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 And faintly. So after doing that, next thing is this mark is for my what mark three, this junction here. So picking my compass placing that apex to mark theory which is here yeah where the cotton plane touches my line theory here so i'm going to what, draw an arc like this throughout so wherever that arc touches mark theory which is what right here for what mark three so i'm going to uh, project this to so as to get the true length there so this area is for what this way it touches mark two i'm going to project it horizontally out here do you see so this is for mark two this midpoint is for mark what mark four i'm projecting it horizontally as you can see right there so this next one is for what mark one horizontally then the last one here is for what mark zero and what and five so after doing that place my compass right here the next one here is mark what mark two aligning my compass there i what i draw this arc faintly wherever it touches mark two which is what right here okay so with that same compass i extend it right to this junction here which is for my court mark four so i'm going to draw faintly wherever the arc touches mark four it touches mark four right here i asterisk that also so with my compass i extend from here to mark what next one which is mark two yeah, I pick that junction. I would. I draw wherever it touches mark two. It touches mark two. Sorry, I said mark two. That's going to be for mark one. Sorry. So wherever this next one, which is this, touches mark one, that's going to be what right here. Then the last but not the least, which is from here down here. Okay, that's for mark what mark zero and five. It touches zero here and it touches my five here so i asterisk this junction and what and this junction so next thing is to pick my ruler and join each of those points together boldly okay, i'm going to make them very much visible okay visible as it ought to be then after doing that i can now what thicken the whole of this okay mark four mark three mark two mark one and zero so i'm joining one to zero here like this since it's a prism it has a straight edge at the base okay so right so that is the solution to the problem on the screen okay so kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it my name remains Oluwa Tumbi blessing or the founder of michael tech thank you